Hello guys, welcome to TechOps World. This is Vijay Silvam. In this video, we are going to see how to execute specific a spec file or a test cases both in watch mode or in the normal mode. And finally, we will see how to generate coverage report for a specific spec files. Till now, if you haven't subscribed our channel, please subscribe. That will motivate me to put more contents. Now let's jump on. I have opened the Angular project where Jest has been configured for running test cases. Here, these are the scripts are written to execute Jest for this project. Here, this one will execute the Jest in the normal mode and this one will execute the Jest in watch mode. Here we have mentioned iPhone iPhone watch, watch flag. Here also we have mentioned iPhone iPhone coverage flag. This will execute the Jest to generate coverage report. Now let's see how to execute a specific spec file. For that, let us use fake service. Let us execute only the fake service now. npm run test fake.service.spec.ts. So here I'm running the script test. So this will execute the Jest. But what about this one? This will be the regular expression in just to match the specific spec files. So here we have mentioned fake.service.spec.es. So this will check for all the files in this project and check for the matches. So here we have the matches. So this will execute unit test for this spec file. So let us enter it now. Here we could see only a fake service has ran. Since uh, we have mentioned the fake service as the regular expression. Here we could see that fake.service is the regular expression it is used by the gist. So here we have given the entire file name to match the regular expression. But we can also give a part of the text to match the regular expression. For example, we can also give like a fake instead of giving it as a fake.service.spake, we can give just a fake. And also we can provide a folder uh, to test whatever the spec files inside the particular folder. We can also check all those files. Let's see now. npm run test fake. So this will again execute the fake.service.spec file, but we are using only the uh, so small part of the file name. So here if you could see it's executing only the fake service. Okay, so we have uh, all the test cases mentioned in this uh, test suite has been passed and also it has matches with the regular expression as fake. We can uh, check like uh, services now. npm run test will give services as a regular expression. So here, here we have only one spec file. So it will execute only the fake dot service. But if you, if you have multiple spec files inside services, then it will execute all those files, whichever comes under services folder. See, we have given the regular expression as services, but it is executing fake dot service because it is comes under the services folder. So here it matches the regular expression. We have, we could see the same result for this one as well. Now let's see how to execute only a specific test cases in a test suite. So let us open a data component for that. So I'm opening data.component.spec.es file. Here we can see there are lots of test cases written for this. So we will execute only a specific test cases in this test suite. So to execute only specific test case, we have to extend the it case just type dot it will show whatever the options available so here we have to give only dot only so if you mention it dot only then it will execute only this test case inside this test suite so now let's execute npm run test data so this will execute only this data component but inside the data component we have mentioned to execute only this test case, not other test cases. So the other test cases will get skipped and only this one will get executed. Let's enter it now. Yeah. 
yes we could see only one test case got executed and the remaining test cases got skipped so uh, five skipped and one passed in the total six and also it matches with the regular expression data what we have given to execute the just and also we can do this in the reverse process like if you want to skip only this test case and execute the remaining test cases then you have to give dot skip instead of dot only let's save it now let's rerun this here we could see only one test case got skipped and the remaining got executed so one skipped and five passed in total six and it's again matches with the regular expression now let's see how to execute the same thing in the watch mode npm run test colon watch this is what we have given in the script in the package.json now we will mention the regular expression data so now if you see let's enter it now yeah now this test suite is running in the watch mode and we could see all the results now now uh, let us make some change and we'll see whether this is rerunning it or not let me change to good morning instead of good evening let's save it let us change it to dot only to execute only this one then we can see the error so now we could see uh, one test case got failed and the others got skipped so as mentioned here we have uh, specified dot only so this will be the only test case will get execute and the remaining things will get skipped but in this case we have changed from good evening to good morning because of that this test case got failed let's see yeah so the expected is good morning but it is received good evening let's uh, revert this one now let's see how to generate a coverage report for a specific spec files for example if you want to generate coverage report only for the data component then how do we do that let's see that before that let me remove this dot only and save it and also we will stop this test case running okay now let's see how to generate the coverage report npm run test colon coverage you can also specify the full uh, spec file or you can even give the shorter form of that here we could see only the data component is executed since we have given the regular expression as data and it's only checking the data component to generate the coverage yes we got the coverage report we could see the coverage report for the data component as 100% but why fake service is also getting displayed any idea okay let's see the data component dependency injection here if you could see here fake services are injected into this component so because of that reason the fake service also gets shown here but we are not seeing the coverage for that because even though it might be 100% coverage in the fake service but here it is not covered because we are not targeting that fake service we are targeting only for the data component so this is how we test a specific files in jest